I'm Mark Verstegen, president and founder of Athletes Performance, where we train the top champions in sport. We passionately believe that there are the core fundamentals to perform in sport, and we've brought this to you in the core performance system. Today we're going to share with you some very effective equipment, and more importantly, the education to help you achieve your goals efficiently. Moss and I are committed to help you do that right here on this DVD, but also go to coreperformance.com to get additional training resources. Let's get started. The reaction ball is a ton of fun. The way it's designed is every hard surface it comes off of, it randomly bounces. That helps improve your reaction. It helps improve your eye-hand coordination and ultimately will give you cat-like quickness. Let's go find out. The core performance system always starts with movement preparation. It is an engineered warm-up to help you elongate your muscle actively so that we lengthen and then strengthen. It's also going to help clean up some of these asymmetries or making your right side and your left side equal to decrease the injury potential. And it's also going to help reinforce the flexibility that you need to optimize your speed. So let's show you these few exercises and make sure you get them every time before you continue on. The inverted hamstring stretch will allow you to keep great pillar as well as stretch out your hamstring and improve your balance. Moss is going to try to keep a straight line from his ear right down to his ankle, slightly unlock his right leg and grip the ground with his foot. He then is going to take his arms out wide with his thumbs up toward the sky and then elevate his back heel holding that perfect posture. Here we go. Thumbs out, nice straight line all the way through and then he's going to pull from that hamstring right back up. Again, focus the eyes, should feel this right through the hamstrings and glutes and come right back up. This posture is the most critical thing that you can do. Again, straight line, ear to ankle, pivot at the hip, the leg slightly unlocked. You can see how that's going to improve both this pillar strength, your hip stability, and your hamstring flexibility. Walking heel to glute is a great way to stretch out all your quads and your hip flexors. Key points is Moss is going to continue to feel tall. He's going to reach back to his right arm, grab his ankle, and then fire his glute so he's pushing his hip forward, which will help to shut down that hip flexor and improve your stretch. You'll notice we're also going to get a lot of balance by Moss is pushing tall right through the hip every time. This will help improve your flexibility as well as that stability in the off leg. We call hand walks the second greatest stretch that you can do. It's going to give you shoulder stability, torso stability, and stretch out your hamstrings and calves. Moss is going to go down by taking his hands out, pushing through his chest so that his shoulders remain flat, tummy remains tight. The farther he goes over his head, that's more advanced. The legs stay straight and only work up through the ankles. It's the only thing that's moving. If you need to go through at the end up on your fingertips, that's great. Then walk it back out. You should see flat shoulders, flat hips, legs straight, working up the ankles. Excellent job. And that is the hand walk. The forward lunge, form to instep, is what we call the world's greatest stretch. If you're going to do one thing before practice or competition, this would be it. Moss is going to start by taking a big step forward with his left leg, place his right hand down, supporting a lot of weight. Key points, back leg will be straight, squeeze that glute to release that hip flexor, the back remains flat, and you'll feel a stretch in the growing up to this glute and low back. Part two, left hand outside left foot, push tall, the toe up toward the shin, you'll now feel this in the left hamstring. From there, we'll drop the hips, set this perfect posture, and now Moss will fire through, activating that glute like acceleration, step through with the right leg. Put the left hand down, squeeze the glute, the quad, feel the stretch. Now move the right hand outside, push tall, feel the stretch in the hamstring and the calf, reset perfect posture, and now fire through the glute into the next rep. That is the world's greatest stretch and you can see why. The lateral squat is one of the best ways to stretch out the muscles on the inside part of your legs as well as get your hip capsule all mobilized up. So here's how we're going to do that. Moss is going to just stay in place, take a step out. Both feet will stay flat, both toes straight ahead. This right leg will be straight, that back will be flat. You're going to feel it here and you're going to feel it in this hip capsule. We'll then come up tall, leave the feet apart. He'll rock over to his right side, both feet flat, both toes straight ahead. This leg straight, feeling the stretch here and in that offside hip. That is the lateral squat.
The first reaction ball exercise we're going to do is going to be a drop and catch. is going to start in a great athletic stance. Now, before he drops that ball, I need you to understand this. The first goal is just to react to the ball with that great positive first step. If you can get a hand on the ball, that's a win. If you can catch it, good for you. Let's go to it. First one. Starting low and go. Good, Masa. Nice. Okay, now Masa's going to progress up and bring it up to his chest height. Okay, Masa. Drop that. Good. Nice. Great adjustment. Oh, he's good. Okay, now we're going to bring it up to his head height. A little higher, Masa. More energy into the ball, more reaction opportunity. Drop. It's all right. Stay after it. Perfect. And that's what's going to happen. Again, I'm not worried about you catching the ball every time. It's about seeing the ball, being in the position to react to the ball, and getting your body going in that direction. Go ahead and give it a try for yourself. The reaction ball wall toss just requires some open space and a solid surface. Moss is going to get in his great athletic stance, sitting the hips back, weight on the inside ball of his feet, getting ready to react like a cat. He's going to go with a nice, soft underhand throw this first rep. Nice, Masa. Great job. Now Masa can get back in that same position, and now he can add either more underhand speed, or he can even start to bring it out from the right side or the left side and increase the range. There's a lot of different ways to progress that off the wall. After you get good at just with the catch, you can also now just try to bat it underneath and almost play a little bit of wall ball under to it. But if you get that good, competition is going to be no sweat for you. The reaction ball wall rolls are really going to help your sports like where you're fielding. Moss is going to get down in a really low fielding type stance. He's going to roll the reaction ball into the wall and then react to it. Keep your eyes on that ball the whole time. Here we go, Masa. Good, Masa. Way to stay with it. That's exactly what we're looking for. A nice roll. You can gradually increase the pace of the roll and the angle in which you come into the wall to increase the range you'll have to react. Again, one of the best things you can do for that really low reactive stance. This next one is a true challenge. We're going to go with the reaction ball toss to acceleration. Moss is going to take an underhand throw from a split stance. He's going to toss the ball right in here with a couple feet over his head, accelerate after it, and then try to react to the ball. I'm getting out of the way. Masa, good luck. Nice, Masa. Now, that was a perfect example. Great acceleration in, a great cut, got a hand on the ball. That's exactly how we want it to occur. Make sure you have plenty of room to accelerate and decelerate. The reaction ball ball drop to acceleration just requires a partner. I'm going to hold the reaction ball at my peak height. I'm going to pick a distance away from Masa right now, about 10 feet. When I release that ball, Masa is going to accelerate, try to get the ball. I'm going to get out of the way. Masa, are you ready? All right. Watch that ball. Great job. This is going to help improve your acceleration and then your reaction time to it. Again, to make that one step difficult, I would just take one step out and repeat the process. That is how to do reaction ball, ball drops.